damn, it has been a long time since I've been able to record something. How you guys doing? It's the Beast Pokeball here, and today, guys, I got something a little bit different. So today, I'm gonna be telling you guys a story that's happened to me in the past. I think it's pretty funny, and that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm gonna start to do these videos a little bit more often, where I start to just tell stories of things that have happened in my life, or my opinion on certain things, and just little entertaining videos where you guys get to see a more personal side of me. Anyways, guys, today we have the story about the time I almost got the police called on me. Just before we start, I just want you guys to know that I was 13 years old when this happened. Like calling the police on a 13 year old kid, that's kind of ridiculous. Anyways, we'll go ahead and get into the story. So if you guys don't know, my parents are divorced and at one time, I used to live with my dad a little bit. Now, my dad's house was pretty cool and whatever, but he had one problem. He almost had no food for me and my brothers to eat. So we ended up going out to dinner almost every night, and where else to go other than Chipotle? I mean, come on, it's Chipotle, and you know. Oh my god, I love Chipotle! Chipotle is my life! Yeah, exactly. So we go on our way to Chipotle, and my brothers never want to go into Chipotle. It's really annoying, because I end up having to carry this big bag. And keep in mind, guys, at the time, I'm not my six feet tall Luke that I am now i'm like a little like midget chubby circle round luke with stubby ass little arms so it's already hard enough to carry a big ass bag like that anyways me and my dad go into chipotle order the food pay for it and all that is fine and i'm just carrying this big ass bag back to the car now my dad has a truck and you know there's a big step to get into that truck and along with my stubby arms i have really stubby legs too and parked right next to my dad's truck is a small little fiat with a little guy in it now when i say little guy the guy was actually kind of tall but he was super scrawny if i had to describe his looks i'd say that he looked kind of like Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah, he looked like that. He was kind of a nerd. Anyways, he was sitting in there reading some magazine, probably like People magazine, f***ing pussy. And he was just sitting in the car, and I am struggling to open my dad's car door. And I get it open, but by accident, like, life turns into slow motion as the car door slips out of my hand, and it taps the guy's Fiat. Now, keep in mind, the guy is actually in the passenger seat, so he's on the other side away from me, because his car was parked on the right side of ours. So he must have heard that the car door tapped it, and he starts to get out. Now, I'm really afraid that I'm gonna get in trouble. I'm afraid that I caused some sort of damage, but I look over at his Fiat, and I see that there's actually no damage at all on the car. So I'm not really worried anymore. But this guy goes over, and he looks at his car door, and he starts yelling at me, and saying, Yo, why did you dent my car? So the dude starts yelling at me, and then my dad eventually gets out of the car, and he's like, hey, what's the problem here? Did my kid do something wrong? Whatever. And Napoleon Dynamite is just going on a rampage right now. He's claiming that there's some huge dent in his car when there's clearly nothing wrong with it at all. So he and my dad start getting into an argument over how there's nothing going wrong. And I'm just sitting here, like, scared out of my mind. Now, it turns out that the car actually wasn't his. He starts mentioning how it's his girlfriend's car. And so his girlfriend is inside Chipotle getting food as this argument's going on. So I'm just sitting there extremely scared as he starts yelling at us and it eventually gets to the point where the guy threatens to call the police on me. Now this is insanely ridiculous for a couple reasons. One, I'm only 13 years old. Why would you ever call the police on a 13 year old? Two, there's no damage done to his car. This guy claims that we put a quote unquote wimple, whatever the f that means into his girlfriend's fiat and my dad automatically gets super defensive because this guy threatened to call the police on his child and so they continue to argue and out of nowhere the guy's girlfriend finally walked out Chipotle now he starts explaining to her the entire issue saying oh look they put this dent in the side of your car and she just looks at me so we start making some serious eye contact and she gets closer and then we just start making out and it's super intense now that that didn't actually happen I lied to you. No, but what actually happened is that she looks at me and I can see in her eyes that the expression on her face just completely says, oh my God, I am so sorry that he's being ridiculous right now. Cause it's true. The guy was being completely irrational, threatening to call the police on a 13 year old over nothing. So the guy wants my dad's insurance information, but my dad won't give it to him cause nothing is the matter. And in the end, I just kind of say that I'm sorry. That's all I can really do. Nothing happened. It was just a little bit of an accident. And the dude should have been much more understanding to the fact that my hands were full and that I'm a 13 year old and I made a mistake. But luckily, in the end, we were able to just drive off safely and get away from the whole situation, and nothing ended up happening over it. It's been four years since that day, and I haven't seen Napoleon Dynamite since then. Like, dude, this guy actually was, like, so scrawny. I don't know what he was doing. He must have been trying to get, like, some sort of lawsuit or get money and a way out of it. The whole situation was actually pretty f up. I don't know why you would yell at a child like that. But yeah, everything ended up being okay, so that was pretty cool, I guess. And Napoleon Dynamite, if you're watching this video, dude, actually f you threatening to call the police on a 13 year old who the f do you think you are anyways guys i hope you've enjoyed that remember to smash a like button for the first cut commentary on the channel i'm gonna continue to do more of these feel free to leave suggestions over what gameplay i should have in the background i just want splatoon and smash bros for this one uh but i have a ton of wii u games that i could use maybe even like mario kart 7 or something like that so yeah that is gonna be the video i have more stories to tell in the future and as always guys let the outro roll <laughs>